Uh, hey guys, uh, a few were wondering about my process and set of After Effects. Uh, I'm going to try and run through it really quickly, so don't consider this a tutorial. Um, I'll try and explain things the best I can. If you have any questions, I'll try and answer them. Um, let's see. Uh, so my character is made inside of Illustrator, and the way I make him inside of Illustrator is everything is broken down layer by layer ahead of time so that it's easier to animate. Um, I then bring him into Photoshop and take all those layers and save them as RGB because for some reason CMYK doesn't work inside of uh, After Effects. It'll just make everything imported as one single image. Uh, so I take my Illustrator file, which is created like that, taken apart, and then put back together in Photoshop. I then take my uh, then take my file and import it into uh, After Effects. Here, I'll import him. The dialog box will come up. You keep it as composition retain layer size, uh, check off editable layer styles, and he comes in very similarly to this. Uh, the way that I set up everything for rigging is I use uh, anchor points, which are an essential part. Everything in After Effects is moving based upon where your anchor points are set, so it's important to set them at pivotal points. And similar to how things are going to move. So for things like the head, I'm going to set it at the base of the neck. The eyes are going to be you know, set in the middle, pupils in the middle. Hair is going to be set down here. Um, so parenting uh, in After Effects is everything is going to be parented to wherever you set it to. You want one, uh, you want one like solid point where everything for an animated element is going to be parented to. So for the head, I'll do things like uh, I'll just take everything here from the head. You know, obviously it sets certain things apart, like the pupils would be and it would be uh, parented to the eyes, not directly to the head, but you know, for the sake of time. Uh, so grab all your elements of the head that are going to be animated to the head. Uh, click the pick whip and drag it down to head. Uh, you do the same thing for body, but I'm going to get to the arms and legs in a second because I need to recreate those inside of After Effects. Um, the other thing I used for this process are nulls, which are basically just little controllers that you can get by going to layer, new, null object. And basically what I use the nulls for in my final comp is I create a null for the head and set the head layer where everything's already parented to it. I take the head and set it to the null and that just allows me uh, greater control so that way I don't have to set the head graphic directly to the body because that would cause some constraint problems and make it very wonky looking. I then also have a null for the body which uh, now that the head's parented to and all the other layers from the body are parented to, everything is controlled by the body. So what this is good for is when I'm animating it allows me to use it as basically a zero point controller or a master null as they would call it inside of like Maya or uh, Cinema 4D, and that just uh, that's just good for placing your character inside of a scene for organization and you know ease of use's sake. Um, my arms and legs that I created are just uh, very simple shape layers inside of After Effects created with the Path tool. Um, I didn't use my original arms and legs because they would not be helpful for animation. I would probably have to use Puppet Tool pinning to get them to work right and Puppet tool animation in After Effects is not very intuitive for character animation. If you try it, I've seen tutorials. It's doable, but you're gonna have a bad time and waste a lot more time trying to animate on pu with uh, puppet pins. Uh, I guess a better suggestion would be if you're gonna animate like that, if you want to do it with a full rigging system, there are downloadable programs like DUIK, which is free and Rubber Hose, which is only $45, and it's a really good program, you should check it out. I'm going to put links to them in the comments. Um, those are just two programs that allow for actual, like, uh, full skeletal rigging inside of After Effects. The way I'm doing it is very, like, kind of janky. Um, but it works for me, <laughs> so, you know. Um, the arms and legs themselves, as I said, are just uh, pen tool paths that are animated inside of After Effects. The arms are just two bezier, they're just two points with bezier curves, and the legs are three point bezier curves. 
the way I created them and animated them is very simple. The arms, I just traced over my arms. Uh, grab one point with the pen tool, drag to get two Bezier points. Make another point, drag to get Bezier points. You open your shape layer, press U twice to open your animatable elements. You click the stopwatch for path, set it to 1, and this is going to be your first keyframe. Uh, you select your path tool point by selecting path, and then hitting shift, clicking a point, and dragging them to the point that you want. Uh, so set that fill to 0, set our stroke to solid. Uh, and then it's just setting points for this click path, shift, take your points, set your Beziers. Uh, just animates very, very much like that. It, uh, After Effects fills in the keyframe positions for you, which is just a, it, it's a weird way of working to get used to, but once you're used to it, it you know, it's a second nature. It might clash with some of your like instincts of doing frame by frame in a drawn style, but you know we're not working inside of a drawing program. I like to think of After Effects as like the grown-up version of color forms because you know everything is created inside of layers upon layers, and everything's just you know moving around. So it helps me to think of it like that at least. Um, so that was the arms. The legs are very much similarly created. They're just you know click out of here. Be pen tool. They're just uh, three point beziers. So one here, drag out for beziers. One here, drag out for beziers. Another one, a little, little tiny bezier. And then, you know, you just auto correct them so that's more straight. Drag that bezier in because we don't really want any curves in from that side. And very much the same here, drag that bezier down. So it works very, very similarly to the first one. It's a uh, them up, go to path, click your path, animate, shift click, and then we're just dragging points around, and I think my GPU is crashing because the graphic is not matching up for some reason. But uh, I think it's, I'll just bring it up here. So the path tool, as you can see, it's just uh, animated beziers, you can see where I'm affecting certain things. Uh, to get my curves and things like that. Not super complex, uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, it's just, you know, if you don't know what you're doing in After Effects, it's just going to be really confusing at the time. Um, it always helps to just keep reference close by, so I usually do that if I'm animating things, uh, like characters that I want more, you know, realistic looking. So I usually just keep a template here for uh, reference. Uh, so, I, I think that's about it. Um, it was created using pretty bare bones stuff. Um, I think the the only thing I did uh, untraditionally is the hair itself is using a distortion effect. Uh, where is the hair? Uh, yeah, here we are. I'll click hair, and my hair. I go up to effect controls. I used an effect known as Bezier Warp, and what it does is it's very similar to the warping tool in Photoshop. I just set a couple of Bezier points that I want the hair animated upon, and I set keyframes for them to uh, loop in and out. And it works for the character because he's very, uh, you know, he's a very gummy, gumball-looking character, so it works. It wouldn't work for everything, but yeah. you got to play around with effects and After Effects. Uh, you do because it's After Effects. Uh, y you know, you just play around, find a style that you like, find you know effectors that you like. There's billions of tutorials for this program out there. Um, for character animation in particular, I would look at um, uh, Fraser Davidson is a fantastic character animator inside of After Effects. Um, he has a lot of videos on Skillshare.com that are helpful. Um, Another really good character animator in After Effects is Ross Plaskow, who has a YouTube where he shows off uh, uh, some of the, the ways he does animation. They're pretty helpful. I'll put links up to them. But uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, and if you have any questions, I'll try and answer them best I can. Thanks, guys.